Well, we made it. We're finally here. The finale, apparently, to Dragon Ball Deliverance. And uh, to be honest, guys, after looking back, it's crazy because I honestly didn't think that I was actually going to thoroughly enjoy this as much as I have been to the point where I've literally been looking forward to each and every episode. And it kind of sucks to know that this is the last one as far as I'm concerned, because, you know, when you look up, you go to YouTube and type in Dragon Ball Deliverance, episode five kind of appears. But sometimes like people just do that just because they're whatever. But either way, here it is. Episode four. I hope you guys have been enjoying. And if you haven't seen the first three reactions, I please, 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 please. I heavily implore that you guys go and check those out before checking out this. Obviously, this is going to be spoilers for this episode if you haven't seen it already. But in any case, this is going to be a long one. This is the longest episode that they have had since the first one at a runtime of 50 minutes so let's give it a shot and let's see how the story ends or unfolds let's get into it mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah i've been humming the vegeta theme song all day previously on dragon ball deliverance the z fighters are scattered across namek by a group of hostile namekians the scattering results in a legendary rematch between vegeta and broly after managing to defeat Broly, Commander Daiko intercepted Vegeta's Oh, Daiko, not Daigo. I thought it was Daigo. Still alive. Meanwhile, Goten and Trunks face an opponent unlike anything they have ever seen before, and it appears that fusion is not the way to victory. And in other world, it sucks that Goten's got washed. An unknown entity who seems to have intel on this group. Who is this mysterious man? All right, so peep this, right? So I didn't. So after editing the last video, obviously it, it gave me an opportunity to kind of rewatch it a little bit, and I want to make a prediction right here. So we saw Piccolo at the end of the last episode, and seeing how we haven't seen who this new figure is, I think that what happens is this is an ancient Namekian that essentially tells Piccolo of the secrets and things that he just does not know about. And then they fucking sink like he did with Nail and Kami. Because if you pay attention, he's literally wearing what this dude is wearing right now. And when he's talking to him, he's in his normal Piccolo clothes. So that's my prediction as far as it stands. No, I, had, I haven't gone and watched this previous to recording this. I would never do that. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to put out some sort of prediction out here so that way we can see it kind of play out. Because, yo... I, look at how I asked last episode. I was like, yo, does Vegeta know how to go Super Saiyan 4 without the freaking machine? And exactly that is what happened. So let's see how this plays out. Who is Daiko and what is his objective? Time for answers. Now. Yeah, please. A frame one production. I like that. That's something I say all the time. Frame one. Wow, look at this animation already. They going, they they fucking going hard with this. Why, Daiko? Wow, he's a murderer. He killed all their people. He should have just played dead. Look at that. My man looking fried as ever. This guy. Oh, we have a theme song? This is. Okay, hold on. I, want, I just wanted to make a comment on that because that sounded very much like the Budokai 3 opening. The, da -na -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, like, kind of, but anyway. That was nice. That was the most Dragon Ball this has been since the, it started very with the little well. theme song. I will tell you everything. But first, allow me to introduce myself. You. You are... What is going on? I know for a fact that I've never met him before. And yet, when I look at him, it's like I know him. You seem surprised. Why he look like that? I don't know why, but it 
feels like I know you. I can't place it. Curious. Say, have you ever performed the forbidden fusion technique of our people? Forbidden? So that's how it is. The reason that technique is forbidden is because the host will not only inherit the absorbed one's life force and essence, but also its memories. Okay. It's hardly possible that whoever you fused with either knew me or knew of me. Oh, okay. He's right. It's the same gut feeling I had 24 years ago at the martial arts tournament when I met Shin. Right. In any case, That's a good I reference. I on that as an introduction. So I think I owe you a proper one. My name is Asturi. I'm the last great sealer Namekian that walks among this plane of existence. Okay. I'm sure you have many questions, but answering them one by one will not make you any wiser, I presume. For you to learn who they are, Piccolo, you must learn the history of our people. I will show you everything. <laughs> Yo, he about to learn some facts. I like how he's a brand new character, though. That is pretty cool. What? Where are we? Can't you tell? This is your home planet over 500 years ago. Wow! Namek was flourishing! Bro, that's OD. Wow. That's crazy. Dude, Namek was basically like on some Wakanda shit. That's insane. How is that possible? This is incredible. I can't believe Namek was this developed. Yeah. This advanced. This populated. Didn't you find it odd? A race that seemingly enjoys most of their days meditating were able to create wishing orbs, able to alter our plane of reality? Dragon Balls. It didn't occur to me, no. Namek was ahead of its time, more advanced than all other civilizations, defying the laws of nature, wow. the worlds, and more. We acted as if it was our destiny to shape the universe as we saw fit. We believed ourselves to be invincible, as no one could resist us. We were so focused on the outside, we failed to look within. What happened? The same thing that happens to all societies. Not everyone shares the same ideals, and yep. sooner or later, conflict arises. Mm-hmm. At the time, though we formed one society, Namek was divided into three factions, three clans. The Dragon Clan. These were natural-born fighters, using their energy to enhance their combat abilities. The Dragon they Clan. Formidable. Piccolo, you're a descendant of that clan. I figured, right? Makes sense. I can tell just by looking at you. Wow. Next up was the Sealing Clan. This clan specialized in sealing abilities. Mafuba! Justice into our society was their primary job. I've never seen a Namekian using energy like this. The last main clan is the Soul Clan. Though limited in their abilities, their latent powers to connect with the essence of one's very being was one to be admired. Yeah. Allowed us to truly be connected with one another. The story of Namek's downfall starts with the descendant of the Soul Clan, Daiko. Daiko. He was a commander of Namek's first legion, a genius tactician who led Namek's army into thousands of battles and remained victorious. Although Namek was already at the top of his might, this wasn't enough for Daiko. He had a vision. A vision where Namek solidified its superiority over any other planet in the entire universe. And there were many Namekians sharing his point of view. 
I should have realized right then and there that his beliefs were bordering on the side of tyranny. This is this is this is insane. I was not expecting any of this. Where are we now? Hold on. This anime guys, guys. What the fuck is happening with this animation right now? This is this, this is looking too good. All right, they better be careful, okay? <laughs> they better be careful. The Grand Military Tribunal. Here we find out about Daiko's war crimes. Hmm. Damn, look at them elders. How dare you? Me? Execution? The Kachin was necessary for us to reinforce many of our infrastructures. We need our technology to evolve constantly to remain at the top of the universe. They wouldn't bargain. I single-handedly perfected years of pointless negotiations and planetary warfare. You narrow-minded fools! Daigo, may I remind you that you had an entire planet's population slaughtered using one of the military's most powerful weapons. <laughs> you unleashed hundreds of gargoyles upon that world with no Oh wow, look at the okay. That's what they're fighting on Namek right now. Gargoyles. Mm. You've proven to be unpredictable, dangerous, unstable, and your actions have become irredeemable. You're missing the big picture. I dedicate my life to Namek. My actions. Silence. You are not to say anything further. Hold up. His eye. Are they? Is that him? Are they? Okay, answers, answers. Your Honor, I ask permission to speak on behalf of the people. Go ahead, Representative Guru. Go, Guru! <laughs> Let's go. Nice. That's Guru. I do have a testimony for this assembly. And I hope to convince each of the senators that execution is not the way. I believe we may have misconstrued Daiko's character. I genuinely believe that Daiko thought he did what he did out of respect and patriotism for Namek. And though he cannot ever repent for his actions, I do not think we should justify murder <laughs> with murder. It's very guru like. Defended Daiko and convinced the court to change their verdict from execution to life in prison in the Republic's highest security facility. Hmm. It seemed as if everything was going back to normal. This did not last, I'm afraid. Shortly after Daiko became imprisoned, Something terrible happened. Oh, snap. One of the six senators was assassinated, and all evidence pointed at my fellow ceiling clan senator being the culprit. How convenient. We all know there has been bad blood between the two of you. And now he's dead! The sealers are behind this! You better think twice before pointing fingers. Is oh. that a threat? That's man's. You have the nerve to threaten another senator? Are you planning to dispose of him? The same way you did with Senator Trom? You're accusing him of assassinating a fellow senator. Oh! You'd be saying this too if that's, you were That's man's right there! If you truly believe he did it, then he should prove his innocence in trial. This is not a place to decide a man's fate. Oh, how considerate of you to defend a fellow Zeno senator. Who is to say you're not in on it as well? <laughs> this, this is a game of Among Us right now. There's nothing to discuss. The way I see it, you did this yourself, Silo. Sedition and murder are most likely not an uncommon sight for so clan scum like yourself. 
You have more to gain from this than any of us. We might have lost a fellow senator, but if you don't watch your mouth, I'll guarantee you that he won't be the last. And just like that, our government fell apart. No one trusted anyone anymore. It always bothered me. We've ruled Namek for hundreds of years, and not once have we thought about taking each other's lives. Wow. My guess? None of the senators did it. I think my fellow ceiling clan senator was framed by Commander Daiko. Conflict arose, pacts had been shattered, and so was the peace between the three clans. That's crazy. And that was the start of Namek's civil war. Wow. They had a whole ass of this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. You see, this is okay. I love seeing stuff like this because this is the type of stuff that we talk about on the full power podcast frequently okay that the depths that dragon ball can really go to boom right here like it is it is clear as day like you see how deep the lore can get with just namek come on bro like th th this is stuff that they really should get their their heads out of their asses when i say they i'm talking about freaking the toei room okay because they're over here they're giving us freaking the go tanks and trunks high school special freaking fresh prince of bel -Air. i don't even know what the hell's going on over here now right even though i'm enjoying that for what it is because like i am a fan of like the, the great sandman stuff that is not the level of content that Dragon Ball fans are looking for. I mean, this is clearly why fan-made projects exist even now because, like, this is the potential that could be explored. Like, Dragon Ball could be its own Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Like, MCU this shit, in the words of Kai, I'm telling you, just, just, just do it. You hear that music? This is very Final Fantasy VII esque. That was, bro. War was relentless and cruel. Careful. By the time our clans came to a ceasefire agreement, it was already too late. Among the hundred thousands of casualties, wow. we found that apart from Commander Daiko. The Soul Clan was completely wiped out. Wow. That's insane. We could not believe what we had done. One of Namek's main pillars had vanished, never to return. We did not want to accept this. We could not accept this. And so, we decided not to. We realized that if we pulled our powers together, we could somehow find a way to undo this madness. This the fucking creation of the goddamn Dragon Balls. Oh my god. This is OD. War. And with the help of Commander Daiko, myself, and Guru, we had created wishing orbs. The wishing orbs. Wishing orbs that allowed us to alter reality. <laughs> you are one of the Dragon Ball's creators? I used to be. Helping to create the Dragon Balls is my biggest regret, even up to this day. Oh, man. After fixing the damages caused by the Civil War, a new movement had started. It had become painfully clear that our system was not working. The remaining senators still distrusted one another and were unfit to lead. I, too, believed that our current system was horribly flawed, so I had no trouble renouncing my position if it meant fixing this dystopia. It was around this time where Guru decided to step up. His pacifistic ideals greatly impacted the citizens of Namek. For too long have we used other planets' resources for our own personal gains. For too long we tried to play God. No more! If we keep this up, our planet will be doomed for eternity. He wished for us to abandon our previous ways 
and carry on our days as a peaceful civilization. We've been given a second chance. Let's take it! <laughs> Focusing solely on spiritual enlightenment, hoping the next generation would not follow in the footsteps of their predecessors. He also wished for the Dragon Balls not to be used freely and wanted to link his fate to the Dragon Balls. Mm. Are you joking? You want to throw away all that we have worked for? Are you insane? Namek is on the verge of becoming the most important planet in the entire universe, exceeding even the might of the Supreme Kai's. Wow. Look around you. If we didn't create the Dragon Balls, you'd be standing on a mountain of corpses made of your own people. What makes you think we're on the right track now? The Dragon Balls are the prime example of what we can achieve. With its power, we can Commander even... Commander Daiko. I respect you as one of the creators of these wishing orbs. I'll even go as far as to say you have redeemed yourself from your actions before the war. We have created a terrible curse. Word spreads of the existence of the Dragon Balls. Namek will become a target to anyone. That's facts. Oh, oh, please tell me Frieza comes in. Oh my god. The fighting will never stop. A little cameo. We cannot keep going like this. That's not for you to decide on your own! I just about had it with all of you constantly undermining the potential of Namek. Guru, you want someone to guard the Dragon Balls? Very well. I'll do it. I'll become the guardian of the Dragon Balls. And under my guidance, I will elevate Namek into the greatest planet this universe has ever seen! Don't do this, Daiko. This is insane. The senators of Namek have ruled for hundreds of years. Each clan has two senators as their representative, allowing Namek to thrive among the stars. This dude, the lore on Namek, yo, this is the first 20 minutes of this damn episode. Holy shit. And so a duel took place. A duel that would determine Namek's fate. The winner would become the guardian of the Dragon Balls. It would lead Namek into a new era. Wow, Guru fought. Wow. Hey, going in. Damn, that was a, like a mouth blast special beam cannon. Ooh. Jeez. Is that a Gallic gun? But eventually. <coughs> You've lost, Daiko. Curse you! The agreement was that the winner of this battle would be the one to take reign of Namek. But something tells me that you won't comply, no matter what we agree on. The same way a civil war conveniently broke out right after your imprisonment. Uh huh. Hey, Daiko. I once defended you in court. I will not do so again. You gonna off him? So no. What now you're gonna have me executed after all. No, I do not believe in the death sentence. It would make you a martyr, and that would only breed more conflict and violence. However, I cannot let this stand either. Daiko, as my first official act as the new ruler of Namek, I hereby banish you from the Namekian society. Banned. You may no longer be an official oh. citizen of Namek. 
or make use of any of our privileges. You will be forced to roam the outskirts of our planet as a rogue criminal, living solely off water like we will do, so you can reflect upon your deeds and live out your final days in peace. And so Daiko was banished. He ventured into the wilds. Many of his followers went along with him. That was the last time I ever saw Daiko. When I was alive, that is. Yeah, what happened there? It also sparked a new era. We renounced war, technological advancements, colonization of other planets. We even abandoned our cities to live a peaceful life, sleeping in huts. Wow. Focusing on our spiritual. That's why Namek looks so run down. Just like Guru envisioned it. In time, the planetary composition itself began to change. Temperature, atmosphere, gravity, natural resources. I'm assuming Namek turned back to its original shape. Ironically enough, during that era, we found more peace than we ever did before. Wow. That's wild. But then, then what? Yeah. After a few centuries, <laughs> all of a sudden, the landscape of Namek was struck with disastrous power. What's going on? The fuck is happening? Turns out it was a climatic cataclysm, one that was on an apocalyptic scale. Never seen anything like it. so many casualties I didn't even know what to do everyone run towards the east coast get as far away from this place as possible Ah, oh, guru said guru we have to get out I'm so sorry what I'm afraid I'm afraid I caused this I'm so sorry what? As soon as he said that, I figured it out. This cataclysm wasn't a natural phenomenon. It was set up. This whirlpool of energy had an unnatural core. Something was indeed causing this. Trying to resist whatever it was, was suicide. This energy was so strong it killed anyone who was remotely close to it. <laughs> That's crazy. Natural disasters happened all over Nanak. With this mysterious storm at the center connected to it all. It has to be Daiko, right? Oh my god. I knew that if we let this continue, Namek itself would be wiped from Damn, existence. Namek been through some fucking shit. What are you talking about? Where is our army? What happened to the civilians living on the countryside? They are dead. So many dead because of me. There was no chain of command anymore. So I came up with a plan as quickly as possible. It's deliberately coming toward us. Make it go south! Ceiling plan. Retreat to the Soul Shrine. Prepare to open the Soul Gate. We cannot fail. We must deliver at all costs. Though we chose to leave our old ways behind us, the remnants of our past still remain. I decided to lure the Cataclysm towards the inner shrine of the Soul Clan's headquarters. Stationed there is the Soul Gate. The most important artifact the ceiling clan has ever created. 
I can't remember if we've ever seen that. Managed to get it in there, it would be frozen in time for all eternity. What? This is crazy. Damn, he did it by himself, but he's not even from that clan. Or is he? Oh, no, he is. He said he was. <gasps> Someone sliced that half of his freaking head. That's insane. My man is missing like half his head. Ew. Like, that's crazy. And that's how he died? That would make sense. Hmm. So you sacrificed yourself. I know what that's like. I'm aware of that. I've been watching over all Namekians ever since I perished. I also kept tabs on Daiko, and what I have found out was shocking. I was hoping to be wrong, but it was exactly as I feared. The one who caused the cataclysm was none other than Daiko. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Oh. Daiko believed that Namek had taken a sharp turn away from its original position in the universe. He wanted to restore this, and in doing so, he created a weapon that, according to him, would steer Namek down the righteous path once more. Mm -hmm. The name of this weapon, Hydra. Oh. Whatever I sealed inside the Soul Gate, that was Hydra. That's Hydra. Okay. It was changing Namek. I could feel it. The gravity, temperature, the atmosphere. It all began to change. It was terraforming Namek. A frightening weapon indeed. It felt familiar. Like the old days. I think this is Daiko's objective. He plans to return Namek back to what we made of it during the Golden Age. Like the 
way I saw it? And what would he gain from that? Who knows? For all I know, there's a lot more to it than that. But, as of right now, whatever is inside the Soul Gate is the only thing he cares about. The terraforming stopped as soon as I sealed this thing inside the Soul Gate. It is safe to say that Hydra is the key to all of this. And I have reasons to believe that Daiko finally figured out how to break the seal on the Soul Gate. Piccolo, this is why I reached out to you. I don't know what Daiko has found, but if he truly found a way to undo that seal, Namek will once again experience the hell I tried to prevent. You have 24 hours worth of time in the mortal world. Use it. Protect your friends. Protect Namek. And stop Daiko. <laughs> I still don't understand why you need me in all of this. You seem perfectly capable of handling this on your own. Mm. You know more about this than me anyway. I wish I could. But my spirit can't handle it. I'm assuming it was the cataclysm. Hmm. This is no ordinary wound. It's much more frightening than that. I can barely use my energy, let alone my sealing techniques. I am assuming that is why my brethren are not here with me. Interesting. They are gone. Forever. Making me the last seal in Namekian in existence. That's insane. But my abilities shall live on. Piccolo, I entrust my power to you. Oh, yep, there it is. I knew it. Are you sure? You want to entrust me with your life? I'm afraid I don't have much of a choice, but I haven't given you one either. I apologize for the circumstances that I'm dragging you into now without explaining all of this. It is not your responsibility to inherit my burden, but the fact is, you are the only one that I can turn to. Everyone trusts on Piccolo it's at the end of the day. All right. But I understand. If both Namek and my friends are at stake, then I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll do it. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fucking awesome, man. That's how he gets the clothes, yo. Makes sense now. I, I was right. Hmm. Ah, poor Baba. So he didn't even need her then. He just he just went on his own. All right, the gargoyles are powerful bioengineered creatures based on Namekian DNA. They were later perfect perfected by Namekian scientists to serve as military weapons and cannot be used in warfare unless all senators give permission to do so. So that's how OD the gargoyles were for the Namekians. Man, this is crazy. Look, I know that this is a fan-made work, but this is what I need, okay? And listen closely, all right? L Listen closely. I need a group of fans, okay? Because clearly Bandai's not going to fucking do this, okay? I need a group of fans to take everything that we just saw and what I'm, I'm about to see, right? And make a fan-made game, okay? Everybody knows mods exist in a lot of the existing titles. And I know that there's, there's ways out there to create our own. I need that done here. I don't care if it's a fighting game. I don't care if it's a side-scroller, beat-em-up. I just need something. Okay, because I, I want to keep reliving this because this is pure, pure greatness that I'm seeing right now. So, all right, let's get back to this. Oh, go tanks. He's holding his breath. Go, Jeff. 
trunks? Man, why they both gotta not have their fucking eyes? I was worried about this. I was like, oh, I hope they ha I go hope they get to keep their eye. You know what I'm saying? But this is the first time we've ever seen something like this happen, where like the two characters that are fusion speak to each other. That's actually kind of cool. Where are we? Still underwater. That thing is extremely resilient. Even as Gotex, we couldn't get past his armored skin. And how do we beat him? We can't go into a higher state than this. Still, we gotta find a way. Every creature has a weakness. He can't be invincible. You say that, but we attacked it with everything we have. And it didn't seem to phase this thing. How could you still think like that? Maybe it's best to retreat and get help from Gohan. The last time we let our guard down, it cost us an eye. That thing is vicious. It won't let us go. I don't know about you, but I don't want to hide behind my old man anymore. For once, I want it to be the other way around and protect them instead. I like this. <laughs> yeah, that does sound good. It's time for us to save the day for once. Maybe it's not about brute force. There are more ways to take down an opponent after all. I want to try something. Are you with me? I am. Let's do this. Making ghosts underwater. Yeah, those gargoyles are strong as hell. Did they defuse? Yeah, they did. Let's aim for his head. Right. He's fast. Oh. Nice. This is very uh heroic kind of kind of music right here. I feel like I've seen that shot before. I've got him. <laughs> Let's see how tough you are without your helmet, ugly. <laughs> I <laughs> gotta have the comedy in there, yeah. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, that 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 angered it. He endured so much when we were Gotenks. But that makes him buckle? That's gotta be his weak spot. Oh! That just pissed them off. Uh, 
Holy shit. Damn, this freaking gargoyle is not messing around. Oh, he got hold. Damn, they got I don't know what the hell they're gonna have to do. Think if he's again? Go Tin. Uh, yeah? I think I got a plan. Oh, you do? All right. <laughs> I'm all ears. <laughs> I mean, that's great and all, but if we're gonna come up with a plan, shouldn't we do that without him being here? <laughs> that's facts. Uh, good boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Now smart. They, so they retreated. It's all right. Their dads did it before too. We lost him. Seems so. Can it even see? Where does his eyes Focus up, go Tim. <laughs> so, we need a distraction. Something that'll keep his attention away from us. Well, yeah. What are you thinking of? We still have that, remember? Oh, that's right. We do. We use it to get close. And then we'll target its weak spot with everything we've got. How are you on energy? Honestly, I don't have much left. Neither do I. I'll give you whatever I have left to spare. This is it, Go Ten. This is our last shot. If this doesn't work. Yeah, I know. Let's do this. What the hell are they about to do, man? What is that that they were referring to? Oh my god. Oh, got him right in the side. That was good. So we're saying two? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Congrats, boys. You made it. Oh, no. That is not good. What? Are they fucking yo? Okay, clever. Time to rip it apart. Galactic Guillotine. Okay. Nice. It's different. That was a that was basically the the Killer B and uh, what's his name the Raikage fucking double lariat. That's basically what that was. Wait. 
did it. <laughs> of course we did. <laughs> <laughs> That how 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 fucked it would have been if the, if that shit literally just woke up right there, unknown realm. <laughs> Name Graham. Ha! <laughs> that was funny. That's cool. Old Kai. They called! They called! It just happened! Hmm? What? Who? <sighs> the Kais. Dude, it's our moment. Oh, the old Kai? <laughs> Goku. What does he want with me? Look at his tail. Some major crisis. Whole universe in danger business. Seems your friends are in trouble too. Where are they now? <laughs> wow, that's not the last episode. Hey everyone, this is Luke. Tom Ocean. Killing me! Hey yo. Do I even have to ask? Let me voice a character, guys. Let me do it. I have a little experience. Let me get some more. Okay, Dragon Ball Deliverance Act 2. Okay, so alright. I'm gonna say this before I even watch this little preview because there's like maybe like around 30-ish seconds left of this video. I'm kind of glad that this isn't over in four episodes, okay? Because like there's a lot to be explored and a lot of different things to have happen. And I mean, it does seem like this is gonna be like one, I guess, arc, I guess, if you will. But the fact that there is like a whole nother part, I mean, episode five six like it, this can go for as long as it really needs to i think that's amazing it just sucks that now that we're caught up now i'm now i'm with the rest of you guys just freaking waiting for the next freaking episode so who knows it'll probably be another year and a half until we get to episode five or whatever because i from my understanding this came out like a month ago or something like that so it was semi-recent so let's see what's going on now okay back to the girls okay but yeah piccolo's there yeah <laughs> that what a shot what a shot solidation thanks for thanks for doing this all right so man wow what, what i mean what can i say i pretty much said everything man you guys did a, a fantastic job completely completely sold me on deliverance and and it is just that and excuse the pun but they are truly delivering here and i think that might be the motivation or the reason why it is called deliverance because this is a true delivery to fans, you know, by fans. Obviously, I'd imagine they they have to be imagine. Imagine them not being fans and making this like, th no, that, that doesn't it doesn't work like that. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. Um, I'm 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 even more happy that it's something that I can't really predict anymore. Like, I can't really call things too much in advance we've been in completely new territory yeah i could probably sit here for a while and just kind of reiterate a lot of the same things that i've said over and over but yeah no you guys were right and when i say you guys i mean every single person that's been telling me to react to this for months ever since legend and obviously like legend will always have a very special place in my heart and even after all this greatness that i've seen legend is still my favorite i will just put that out there but uh deliverance has my respect and it has my utmost interest and my support now like it really does like outside of just like fulfilling this for you know like viewers sake or anything like that like people that requested me to do this like i'm i'm definitely in in this uh, for the duration of however long this is uh, going to be around for and I am serious that like if there are any if there's any way I can uh, voice a character or however many I'm down I'm totally down like you know just like they said like there's passionate folks that are part of the uh, the studios that's behind this I would love to have the opportunity to I guess you know give give my contribution back to the the fans of Dragon Ball that have been wanting something of this caliber like I've said Plenty of different times in plenty of different videos on whether it's here or my podcast with Full Power Podcast. Literally, Dragon Ball could essentially become another Marvel, its own Marvel, another MCU 
and look at what they've done. So I'm very happy that we have yet another really good something to enjoy outside of the official stuff that Toei and you know the rest of them are giving us. Let me know your thoughts and let me know when the hell we can expect episode five because honestly, like I'm ready for that next episode. It, it, it kind of sucks that now we're 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 like a, we're caught up now. But I think what I'm going to do is for those that are wondering like if I'm gonna react to Absalon episodes, I'm more than likely not going to do them here on YouTube. I'm probably just gonna watch them for myself because I watched the first three and it's been a really long time since I went back to it. And I'm not really sure if that's something that people would even be interested in watching. I mean, I could be wrong, just like I was wrong about, you know, this. So, I mean, let me know if that's something you guys really wanted me to, to react to. I know that as far as future reactions goes, I know that you guys have been trying to get me to react to Dragon Ball Kakume, which is not an animation, it's a manga. And then I know that for me personally, I know that I ran a poll not too long ago about what you know other anime you guys want me to react to on this channel and a lot of y'all voted for chainsaw man but then brother Uch is over here saying like oh well let's do blue lock so i don't know what the hell we're gonna do so there's a lot of options on the table but in other in any case i hope you guys are enjoying and i and i hope you guys stick around because i like i said i'm my goal is to become a full-time content creator give you guys videos content reactions on the daily whether it's here, whether it's on my other channels that I have. So make sure you guys are checking out my links in the description below. Make sure if there's a comment that you don't want me to miss, drop a super thanks and I will definitely bring them up in the next video. And as always, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked with it right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. I'll see y'all next time.